Yo boys, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing the good old fashioned sub rogue and pretty much uh, another bad game. Uh, Miss Weaver ends up AFKing pretty much the entire lobby other than like one or two games and then I end up just losing all of the others. So it was it was going to be good for me had the Miss Weaver not been on my team before him. So very unlucky and practically lost 60 rating which is for me so when you have an mmr buff so i had some type of mmr buff where when i went 3-3 i'd still gain like 9 or 10 points and that was the goal to go always 3-3 plus and i'd always gain mmr because if you're if you're over a certain mmr or a, a rating you'll never end up losing it so i pretty much forever get rating on my 3-3s but um Obviously, it did not go as well for this game. I'm already at a disadvantage playing sub rogue because, you know, sub rogue doesn't do any damage, but um, it is what it is. So, pretty much, we get full CC here. The starting games weren't that bad, I guess, but um, I honestly think just regardless, uh, I, it's very hard to win as a sub right now, especially versus players that actually click, you know, anything in general. So. I'm already at a disadvantage. Uh, yes, I am a stun bot, but uh, sub rogue can only go so well with uh, practically a destro lock and a and maybe a mage. Like, and that's solo shovel. So that's if you know what if somehow I don't get the sap here. So somehow he gets full feared off of my gouge, I think, or off my kidney, and he's still not sappable. So good, cool class. So we get a full gouge here, full kidney. Pretty much, we're getting good CC, but uh, obviously when we're backstabbing to death. Uh, you know, it do be not be working out. So pretty much, um, I wish I like commentate over my own gameplay, but uh, there's really not much to commentate. Um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna kidney the healer. I even tried this on my outlaw, but like I just don't do enough damage. So here, this guy ends up trying to sheep me. I end up just cloaking because obviously, if he gets the sheep on me while I try to do anything, it's like really bad. Well, good for them, bad for us. So, and pretty much you can't really go mage because obviously the warrior's never going to, tuned to melees are never going to touch the mage ever. And that's just how that goes. And then, um, we're, we're already at a disadvantage with our comp now. And then this guy has like one minute revival. So it's like completely just broken. But regardless, um, I didn't really care too much about going 4-2 or anything. I just wanted my 3-3. Three, three. So like, I was like, okay, well I'll go 3-3. Three, three pretty easy because obviously I'm gonna get the mage three times and me and the mage will win the games most likely or I'll get the Mistweaver every time because the Mistweaver is gonna beat the Holy Priest. Holy Priest don't have any damage reduction spells and they they have a lot of output healing but like they don't have you know Mistweaver is just not gonna lose to a, a Holy Priest so here I try to go sap but obviously I just couldn't do it in time because of my shadow dance that's why vanishing off on your blinds is really good because, you know, there will be situations like that. So I'm just waiting for the kidney. And then we're just going to kidney shot. And that's pretty much all you're doing. So you're just going to kidney, cheap shot. You think we'd win the game here. But um, I don't think we do. Nope, we don't. So he just orbs and he's perfectly fine. And then we, we're pretty much dead. He has guardian, but that's about it. Which, it's not even going to really heal me. So he's pushing in for the fear, which is fine. He gets free sheep. So the moment he pushed out the mid, he let them sheep him. And it was over at that point. Uh, because he pushed in for a, a fear whenever nobody was CC'd. So the Misfear would just completely out, utter outplayed him. And there were Oom. Um, so had he just waited until he was kidney shot and then ran out, even then it's still bad. So Priest kind of threw by not just sitting back and letting me CZ. And he waited for, he didn't wait for an opening. Instead, just went out there and got perma CC'd. And that's just how that went. And we pretty much won the game. We pretty much won the game too. I mean, they were um or they were about to um. I guarantee we were about to um. It's all it all came down to just them playing better than on my pre. So as I, said, I mean, it's only twenty four hundred. So it's not like it's a high rated. So here we snap the healer. Pretty much pretty easy. Pretty much the basics. I get knocked pretty much every time I do anything. So it's good old fash. Um, we use every CD here. We end up almost killing him, but it's just not enough. Uh, he ends up just self-healing himself, literally, and he gets intervened, so he's pretty much fine now. 
So, my basically my first time doing damage in the entire game on an enhancement shaman. We do get wall, so that's good. But at, at this point, I'm playing with the mage, so you think we would win this game. I don't even know if we win this game. So I trinket, I blind. He needs the sheep off my blind. He doesn't. No, now he does, so I end up almost breaking it. Because it's late, which is fine, as long as he gets it. So we get double sheep. The shaman doesn't know how to ground or kick. And I disarm the enhance on his little tiny hut uh, when he swaps to me. So I'm also using my thistle tees for energy because I'm literally energy star 99% of the game. That's the funny thing about you know rogue in general. You're just energy starred. So here this guy just preemptively runs around a corner. So there's not much I can do about it. Uh, my guy didn't sheep the the kidney. So we actually actually no he did. Dude, oh, I don't know how he's getting sheep late, but. He's actually sheeping late, which is actually not, it's not even that bad, because we get, you know, yeah, it's really not bad at all. I don't even know how he's able to, uh, this, this is like what I'm saying, the priest is obviously, you know, very questionable. If he's getting sheathed out of air. So I kidney shot, again, we can either push him for a sheep or whatever. Yep, so we get a full sheep, again, we get a solid go, but I don't have a, da actually, I do have a dance, I just don't have damage. So th the problem with, um... Uh, using my blades is without sepsis you're not going to do any damage so really you have to use blades and sepsis on the same global like you can never use one earlier because it just doesn't do any damage so here i have asian so we're, we're okay i don't know how this enhance is still alive somehow even with like the perfect cc this guy is literally tanked every single go uh, my mage is also doing negative damage so there's that so on top of sub rogue doing more damage than my mage um that's just how that goes this is a bad lobby. I'm telling you, every lobby with a, with a sub rogue in it is just absolute torture. Especially if you're playing the sub rogue. Now, if it's low rated and people don't click CDs, it's so much fun. But, like, the moment actually people just, like, use their one button and rotate, that's, like, their add-on telling them to do it. Trinket wall, trinket wall. It's, like, it becomes an absolute torture chamber. So, here I kidney shot. This is where we need a sheep. He just ends up clicking his nine of, you know, he has 50 different CDs. I end up just dying here. This guy's literally casting Vivify in my face. And then I'm pretty sure he just literally AFKs around the corner. So I'm still not getting healed. He is practically Oom, so I guess that, that is valid. So maybe that's why he's casting Vivify. So at this point, the game's pretty much over. Their Priest has 80% mana, and we're Oom, so the game's just over. So another game that we, sh we should have won, but it's just like we didn't do any damage. So I have my mage doing less than 20k a second. And, you know, that's just how that goes. Sometimes you just can't win them all. So I even tell them I can't win with these players. Which is, I agree with that. I'd agree. We have the best CC you can get. We have pretty solid burst damage. But, you know, it's just not happening. So, at this point, this is when the Mistweaver started the AFK. So, I'm like, okay, well, it's only the, f the fourth round. I still have three other rounds. Um, actually, no, it's the third round. So, I still have literally four rounds to just win three. And that's my only goal. Just, at this point, win three, log off. And this was a good sign right here. But it's not a good sign whenever I need him on my team. So, um, yeah, it did not end well on this home. And, of course, I think he comes back. Whenever he's not on my team, and then AFK is whenever he is on my team. So we're like, okay, perfect. So he's going to AFK, and I'll get my 3-3. Three, three. I'm like, Bro, okay, this just saved me a lot, of, a lot of work. So, of course, out of all luck impossible, he ends up not AFKing. I'm pretty sure he want, all he wanted was his 3-3 three, three or something. Because he literally, literally AFKs every other match on my team. So yeah, he's won two. So if he wins one more... All his goal is is to win one to go 3-3. That way he doesn't lose anything. And then for me, I lose everything because I have to win with this guy at least once. Because he's going to come back and beat me. So here, he randomly, this is how you know he has a macro or an add-on telling him what to do. Because he literally just randomly clicks the button while he's AFK. Or maybe he does. Maybe he just came back and I don't know how he doesn't die here, but apparently he's just immortal. So, of course, he comes back right right in the nick of time, right when we're about to kill him. Just, of course, why wouldn't he? And at this point, it's kind of like my, my mage was too focused on just going Mistweaver. So, it was just, you know, 
I only say go Miss Weaver as in go him because he's AFK, not go him as in we're going to kill him. Like you're never gonna kill a Miss Weaver, it's not possible. Like unless you're AFK, that's the only time you're ever gonna kill him. So I'm like, okay, well my mage is going him. We have to go him at this point. I can't CC him. My guy's not sheeping him. Uh, we're gonna lose. So here he ends up sheeping while I'm going on the Miss Weaver. So the one time he does trade off my CC, you know, it's I'm literally attacking him. I go to sap off the uh, the fear, which is DR, but it's whatever. At this point, we're kind of just dead. Like we've put in all of our CDs, and the in the Miss Weaver just had to use his one CD, and then we didn't block, we didn't alter time. And again, this is at 2450 CR. This is not this is not like super super low, but it's low. So these are versus players that know should know what to do, and I'm just getting my rating just thrown like literally thrown down the trash after I've literally sat this rogue. At 2400 for th like three or four months to gain MMR, and I lose it all in one game. So, all in literally one game. And, and then he AFKs on my team. So, he gets his 3 3, and he's like, okay, well, I'm only 2k CR. So, if I 3 3, I'm not losing anything other than MMR, and I'm a healer, so I get insta cues. So, I'm like, okay, well, that's great. So, now I lose all my rating, and that's just how that goes. So, again, another matchup to where I just cannot win the lobby. And again, people just really do think sub rogue and rogue in general is broken and solo. And I'm here to tell you that uh, you're delusional. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. If so, if rogue was doing 150k DPS, because every everybody's a sub rogue. So here, my miss weaver's still AFK. Uh, at this point, we're pretty much dead. It is what it is. But every every class in the game is sub rogue. Like nobody has a certain amount of CC. So at this point we lose because this guy's literally sitting behind a pillar and then I'm like, okay, that's great. Well, now he's going to AFK again. So I not only did I wait an hour in queue for this. Now I lose all of my rating and I can't vote to kick him out of the game because he can literally, you know, it won't matter. So he can sit in the game, AFK in the game, and he goes 3-3. Three, three. But then I'm going to lose everything. All of my MMR I waited we, literally months and months and months to stack up. Because obviously I don't gain MMR. So I, I don't have it like, I don't start at 0 CR and have 2300, 2400 MMR. And then by the time I get to 2400, I'm at 2900 MMR. It's where I'm just gaining free. So the game's pretty much over. They end up just killing my misweaver. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next game. GG's. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.